Thank you for clicking on this video guys, but make sure you subscribe or else you'll never ever win a Clash of Clans battle again.
Yo guys, welcome to the base explanation where I'll be explaining why this baseline is so good at the town hall level 8. To start off guys, the town hall 8 is located in the center of the base surrounded by A defenses, 3 A defenses in fact. You guys may not like this idea but the opposition will struggle as they will find it hard to penetrate the base with air troops due to the AD being so close to the center of the base. As you can see guys, the clan castle is located in the center of this base design. This is a very good idea because it will make it harder for the enemies to lay out the troops. The more higher level troops you have the more better defense this base will have so i recommend you putting the clan castle in the center of your base line all the time with the mortars guys on a town hall 8 you do get four mortars so it would make sense to space out these mortars around the base equally as you can see right now on this base sign so you can cover the whole base just making sure that everything is protected even the defenses from the collectors and also the storages guys on a town hall 8 i like to think of the bomb tower as a wizard tower as they both do splash damage so i spaced out these defenses equally equally around the base ensuring that all parts of this design is protected equally. Onto the Teslas guys these are located around the base equally making it harder for the attacks that include peckers as they do double the damage I believe. On the town hall 8 guys you only get one air sweeper unfortunately but this air sweeper is placed in the east direction forcing enemies with air troops to attack from the west side which is quite difficult to attack from as it will be harder to get that second star due to the fact that the two air defenses are behind the town hall if you attack from the west side lastly guys with the archers and the cannons they are very similar defenses as they both target single troops they are placed on the outer layer of the base design just to protect the exterior buildings which will reduce the chance of enemies gaining the higher percentage when attacking also guys one last thing i forgot to mention when you trophy pushing i recommend putting storages on the outer layer of the base design as they have a large hit point meaning that it will take a long time for the enemies to destroy it guys if you did enjoy the base design please give it a like and 30 likes I will release the copy link so get liking guys